Representative Briley is recognized in the well, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I'm going to ask that we give Representative Briley the courtesy of listening to him. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members of the House, good morning. Um, while it is somewhat difficult for me to stand here before you today, uh, I welcome the opportunity to do so. I have, have made some notes about some things I'd like to, to say this morning, but mostly I just want to speak from the heart that I have asked God to fill today and direct me in what to tell you. Um, last year I did some things that I'm not proud of. I think most of y'all know what I'm talking about. In fact, my behavior at times was nothing short of irresponsible and reckless. And fortunately, I've been able to grow and change from that experience in a way that I believe God sees fit for me today. And I'm not going to get into the details of what happened last year. Um, that has been reported on the news frequently enough by my friends in the media. And there's no need to go revisit those facts here today. There is one fact, however, that I do want to mention this morning. I'm an alcoholic. I'm neither proud of that fact nor ashamed of that fact. It's just a fact. And I've had to deal with that disease my entire adult life. Many of you have gotten to see the face of alcoholism that lives inside me on a video at times. And I'm not proud of that video either. Sometimes I wish that I could blame all of my problems and my behaviors on my alcoholism. But I should not. I could not. And I will not do that. I committed those acts. That was my behavior. And I've taken responsibility for them. I can't blame it on my alcoholism. It was me. My behaviors affected many people across the state, including my family, both close and extended. And today I get a chance to speak to you about how my behavior has affected you. In short, members of the House, there is no fancy way for me to say to you this morning and I'm sorry and thank you. I'm sorry that I've diverted us from our primary purpose of serving our state. I'm sorry that I have been short and irritable with you at times. I'm sorry that I have embarrassed you in any way. Mostly, however, I'm sorry for the damage and the harm that I have caused this great institution in which we serve. Today, I stand before you and humbly ask for your forgiveness. And I also want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for the thoughts and prayers that everyone has shown me over the past several months. I'm living proof that prayer works. And you'll never know how grateful I am to you for that fact. Thank you. To close, Mr. Speaker, there's nothing I can say here today in this well that will make amends for the things that I have done. That can only be done through my actions. My actions in the days and weeks to come as I try to re regain your trust and confidence. As all of you do, I have faith in and I love our state. And I love the work we do in this chamber. But faith without works is dead. It's time for me to go to work. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members of the House, and God bless you all.